How's it going everyone? Long time no see. So in the over two years that I haven't uploaded a video, I have been busy working on different projects. And this is one of them. This is a 2.1 channel portable wireless speaker with four 4 inch full range drivers and an 8 inch subwoofer with two 8 inch passive radiators. The drivers are powered by two separate amplifiers a two channel amp for the right and left speakers, and then a single channel amp for the subwoofer. This gives the speaker a true 2.1 channel output. And the coolest part is, both of the amplifiers are controlled by a digital signal processing chip. But I'll get more into that in a little bit. I started designing the speaker almost two years ago. This was an updated version of a previous speaker that I had built. I wanted to improve the sound quality as well as the ease of use. I also had some new amplifier components that I wanted to play around with. I built the cabinet out of half inch Baltic birch plywood. This cabinet was built by hand, so it doesn't have all the features that I would like it to have, but hopefully in the future I'll be able to get some CNC cut cabinets that have all the features that I want. The cabinet's finished with a super durable textured polyurea coating. As far as components go on the speaker, I use Dayton Audio products for almost everything. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, and I paid for all of these products myself. I just think a lot of these components are really good for DIY users. For the right and left speaker channels, I use the Dayton Audio DMA 4 inch aluminum cone full range speaker drivers. These feature a super lightweight and powerful neodymium motor as well as a plastic basket making them perfect for lightweight portable speaker applications. For the subwoofer driver, I use the Dayton Audio 8 inch classic subwoofer. This is a very basic and cost effective subwoofer driver. It uses a ferrite magnet which makes it a little bit more heavy, but the cost of performance for this driver is really good. I also have this Tangban 8 inch Neodymium subwoofer driver that I want to try out. This driver is more than triple the cost of the Dayton Audio driver, and I don't think it's going to give me triple the performance, but since it is a little bit lighter weight, I thought it would be good to try out in a portable application. And for the passive radiators, I use the Dayton Audio Designer Series 8 inch paper cone passive radiators. Moving on to the electronics, the heart of the speaker is the Dayton Audio DSPB250, which is what holds the analog device's DSP chip. That amp board powers the right and left speaker channels, while this Dayton Audio KAB100M powers the subwoofer channel. This board holds the Bluetooth receiver, and combining this amp with the DSP amp gives you full DSP control over both amplifiers. DSP allows you to do all kinds of cool stuff, including time aligning the subwoofer and speaker drivers, as well as parametric EQ and all sorts of other stuff. In order to program the Dayton Audio DSP boards, you need to have the Dayton Audio DSP programmer which is sold separately. You also need the Sigma Studios DSP programming software which is free to download. The DSP board also allows for additional functionality, like different EQ presets and different volume control options. This is a really basic rotary encoder and filter circuit breakout board I built for the DSP amplifiers. When configured in the DSP software, this gives me plug and play rotary encoder volume control. But on this speaker, I have a very basic set of features. From left to right, there's an audio in jack, Bluetooth and power indicator LED, volume potentiometer, Bluetooth pairing button, and on and off switch. The back side of the cabinet features a battery level indicator button, four indicator LEDs, and a 24 volt DC power input for battery charging. Speaking of battery, this speaker is powered by five 26650 5 amp hour battery cells and a battery board holder. This board I'm showing you here is the version that holds five 18650 cells. Although I've never measured it, I would guess this speaker gets at least six hours of full volume playback. Now that's with the larger 5 amp hour 26650 cell. With the smaller 18650 cell, you'd still probably be looking at about 5 hours of full volume playback, which is really good. It's now been over a year since I've been using this speaker almost every single day, and I've been really really happy with how it performs. The sound quality is perfect, even at full volume. This thing has extremely dynamic highs and floor shaking lows, literally. I'm really glad I don't live in an apartment complex, because I probably get some noise complaints with this thing. This little 8 inch subwoofer is only powered by about 50 watts, but it seriously packs a punch. And the whole speaker only weighs 19 pounds. So with it being battery powered and having Bluetooth connectivity, that means you can have great sound quality and output anywhere. There are a few issues I have with the speaker, including some driver hiss and thumping when the volume's at full and the music's paused and the speaker goes into standby mode. As well as the limited Bluetooth range due to the internal Bluetooth antenna. I'm currently in the process of designing a smaller version of the speaker. It'll share all the same amplifier components, but instead of a 4 inch full range driver, it'll use a 3 inch full range driver, and instead of an 8 inch subwoofer, it'll use a 6.5 inch subwoofer. Now let's get to the actual sound test of the speaker. 
Obviously, my camera microphone isn't going to do this thing justice, but hopefully it portrays just how clean and loud this thing plays at full volume. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Speaking of subscribers, this channel now has over 1,600 subscribers and over 200,000 total video views. So I just want to thank everyone who's been watching and supporting my content over these past couple years. I really want to try and put out more content for you guys to enjoy. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.